Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new review on the channel today, and today I am going to be reviewing Terrifier 2. This is going to be a fun one. Terrifier 2 was directed and written by Damien Leon, and this film is about two siblings, and it's Halloween day and they're having a good time, you know, just partying it up, you know, when Art the Clown, a mysterious serial killer, gets resurrected from the dead and begins rampaging this small little town on Halloween night. I watched this movie the other day, and it's one of those movies I heard so much buzz about, like, on my Instagram. Uh, I saw a whole bunch of, like, Twitter clips of people just, like, throwing up from watching this movie. And naturally me, I was like, that's, there's no way it's that bad. There's just no way. Because I consider myself a pretty, like, tolerant guy when it comes to that sort of stuff. So I was like, it can't be that bad, right? It's something, all right, let's just see. <laughs> so when I heard about this movie that it was streaming, I instantly ran to the nearest streaming site because I needed to watch it. But of course, I was disappointed when I could not watch it because apparently the streaming site, or the, the streaming service at least, was not in my country. So I was just disappointed and just like, well, I guess I'll never get to review this movie. But then Apple came in with the clutch, and I saw it, you could rent it, and I freaking dashed to the first opportunity to watch this movie and make a review for you guys. Because, oh my god, I need to talk about this movie with people. The first thing I need to talk about with this movie is the violence. Oh my god, the violence is... I think, honestly, it's on another level. This is the most gory film I think I have ever seen in my life. Like, ever, period. I was dumbfounded by the, like, the different things that were happening that made me feel this way. Because I don't even think I can say, I don't even think I can say, like, what these are specifically, or show you at least, because YouTube would be on my ass instantly. But the thing you need to know, is this movie violent? Are those reports true? Yes. If you are squeamish, do not watch this movie, because you are going to have the worst time imaginable. Because I'm actually going to try and describe you a scene from this movie. And I don't know if this is like the big one that everyone's talking about. I think it might be. But let, let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it. Actually, no. I'm not going to spoil that scene. I'll go into another one. It's not really spoiling. I honestly want to talk about the other kills. I'm not going to though. Because honestly, if you're someone like me and you like seeing that sort of stuff. Like, just from a sheer entertainment value of just... How fucked up can something get, you know? Like, how fucked up can someone say, let's make a movie about this. Go s watch this movie, please. Because I'm going to talk about it. It's not the greatest movie, but it is worth it for those scenes, 100%. Just seeing how balls to the wall crazy this movie gets. It's insane. Besides the gratuitous violence, I really want to talk about Art the Clown. This character uh, from this movie definitely has become an icon. Like, 100%. Everyone's talking about this character and how terrifying he is, and it's true. This character is absolutely terrifying. He's creepy, but he's also, like, funny when he needs to be, which is this weird blend of, like, all these different things, and it makes for such an enjoyable antagonist. And honestly, every scene when, like, Art the Clown was on screen, the movie was just infinitely better. Like, it was just so much better. He brings such a weird energy to this movie, and it's terrifying, but it's also funny in a way, and disturbing, and all these things that you want from a horror movie, and a slasher especially, and it just made for a really entertaining time whenever he was on screen. Also, I do want to talk about the horror aspect of this movie. This it movie is pretty scary. Like, I will not lie. Like, this definitely movie, this movie definitely goes for a more show than, show you than tell sort of thing. Like, it shows you people die in the most gruesome ways imaginable. And it's disturbing, it's really friggin' creepy, and it makes for a lot of really tense and really just r gratuitous moments, and it's just so visceral and, like, real, and it's just... It's just crazy, honestly. It's it's nuts. I was shocked how well they did it in this movie. I also want to say, to the acting. The acting has dramatically improved from the first film. Like, in the first film, I'd honestly say that the acting was... It was kind of laughable, it was really bad, but in this movie, the acting actually isn't so bad. Like, it's actually pretty okay, for my, for my standards at least. 
for other people, you might be cringing in every scene, and you know what? I could honestly see it, because if you're not cringing from the characters, you're, you're cringing from certain scenes that I will not describe, because I will get, I will get banned. <laughs> I also want to say, too, this movie looks pretty. Like, there are definitely a lot of really good shots in this movie that, not not only just from, the, like, the, the practical work, which also the practical is absolutely amazing in this movie, but it honestly just looks nice. There are a lot of really good scenes, a, really, a lot of surreal scenes that are very visually pleasing, and I can respect that, honestly. But with all good things, I need to talk about the bad, because this movie honestly isn't the greatest movie I've ever seen, because there are certain things that really hinder this movie. And the first thing I'll say is the performances. Like I said, they are better than the first film. But are they amazing? Definitely not. No, they are not amazing. There are good performances in this movie, but there is nothing truly amazing. It is leaps and bounds better than the first film. But compared to just like a regular movie, it's really not that great. Especially with there's a child actor, and I hate crapping on child actors. Was not the greatest. I have no disrespect towards the actors. They definitely tried, and I'll give you that. You made a movie, but I just didn't think their performances were very convincing most of the time. I'm just honest, being honest here. And also, like I said, the plot is very surface level, but it is kind of like slightly confusing at certain parts. It kind of just expects you to go with certain things and understand them immediately. And honestly, it's just, you, you can't get into everything immediately. You kind of have to be explained certain things. And they just don't explain certain things. Like, something very specific with Art the Clown never goes explained. And it's kind of weird, because I would have rather them kind of explore that a little bit more than what they were actually going for. And, I don't know, it kind of made the experience a little jumbled. And it felt very, like, weirdly paced, because... When certain things were happening with Art the Clown, it was a really fun watch, it was very entertaining. But when then you got to the characters, that really were nothing to ride home about. It wasn't very fun. I honestly found myself getting kind of bored. Another very specific thing I want to say, the film, like the audio mixing in this movie. And I'm going to go into some nitty gritty here, but there are certain scenes in this movie that I've noticed a little bit. Is that there are certain scenes where the music in like, like the background music is louder than the characters speaking. And there is a specific scene, they go to a club and this is what's happening, but that's understandable because that's realistic, that makes sense. If they're in a club, obviously you're not gonna be able to hear them very well, so that's fine. But there's one scene where the two characters are in a vehicle and they're talking about something actually pretty serious and they put this rock music over it, but you can barely understand what the characters are saying because this rock music is so damn loud and it was very distracting and it honestly took away from the moment that could have been honestly semi-serious and like, you just don't get that in this movie. There's, they just kind of ruin certain sequences like that with this music, which it's not like awful music or anything, but like, it's just very distracting and it takes away from it. But all in all, if I was to give this movie a proper ranking, I'd give this movie about a 6 out of 10. When it's entertaining and it's just going full balls to the wall, just crazy, this movie is so great. And this is definitely where the movie is carried by Art the Clown, the gore, the violence, the horror. That's all fantastic. It's just everything else that's really not the greatest and could definitely be improved in a future installment. But I'll say this about this movie. I'm going to remember this movie more than like half the horror movies I ever see. Because there is just some, there is some stuff in this movie that I don't want to spoil because I want people to go watch it if they're into this. Like, I honest to God might get all my friends over when this movie comes out and just get them to watch it and just see how they react. Because, th oh my God, there's so much in this movie that's not the greatest to watch for your mental being. <laughs> but anyways, thank you for watching the video. Feel free to like and subscribe down below. It really shows your support for my channel. And I'll be getting some more movie reviews to you really soon. And I hope you have yourself a great day. See ya.